Hey, how are y'all doing? Oh my God, I feel like such a pimp. Like I got all these ladies in the front, like you're my harem. Can I, uh, can I ask you a question? Um, do any of you guys take pregnancy tests for fun? I do, just to make sure I'm just getting fat. Like, up, oh, food, baby, we're cool. Uh, where are my drinkers at? Anybody drinking tonight? <laughs> Fuck yes. So, I'm good, thank you. I got this, I got this. Um, so, uh, uh, and like tonight, I have this happen all the time, and I think a lot of other veteran drinkers do too, um, where we're going out, we're getting ready, and then we start negotiating with this voice, like uh, this voice in our head that tells us, like, let's drink until we get blackout drunk and make bad decisions. Um, like, I was getting ready tonight, and I was like, I have work tomorrow. I'm going to be responsible. I'm only drinking beer. We're drinking vodka Red Bulls, bitch. <laughs> go hard or go the fuck home. Okay, that's fine, but we're not doing any shots. Seven kamikazes later. <laughs> if I do one more shot, I'm not gonna be able to drive. We don't have to drive, Carrie. We can go home with that weird clown right over there. <laughs> and then, and then I always end up like dating the person that took me home. And it's terrible. It's terrible too, because like I'll start dating this person and I'm thinking, wow, like this one's so different. He's normal and he has his shit to he's like Superman. And then I find out he's not even like Clark Kent. He's more like Christopher Reeves after the accident. Oh. It is not too soon. Don't act all offended. It is not too soon. All right, you should be proud of him. He accomplished a lot with the... Eh. So anyway, uh, you guys are fucked up. I can't believe you laughed at that. That was a test. You failed. Each one of you, failure. Um, yeah, but I always date these guys and uh, they're, uh, they all cry a lot. They're all uber sensitive. I mean, I don't want to say it because it sounds mean, but they're pussies. Um, and so it's weird. Like the last guy I was dating, like, he would cry about everything, like over the dumbest stuff ever. Like, like for St. Patrick's Day, we went out and I said, I don't think I can make it to the Snoop Dogg concert. I'm just a little bit too uh, stoned. And, uh, and, and of course he started crying and he was like, I thought today was gonna be special. Oh, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. That's like Valentine's Day for drunks, is it? I'm not going to Snoop Dogg, so obviously your heart's broken. I understand completely. But like, I didn't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say when a girl cries, let alone when a grown man cries. Uh, he would, you know, so I'm just like, uh, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to go shopping? Do, do you want to bake something? <laughs> but all I could muster was like, there, there, I promise it's not you. I promise I'll quit cheating on you eventually. Then he killed himself, but I mean, it's not my fault. I mean, <laughs> not, you can't blame me for that. <laughs> so anyway, um, but he would also do, and, and don't get me wrong, like um, when men write you poems and songs, it is romantic, uh, but he would do these grand gestures and it just doesn't do it for me. Like, it's just not my thing. Like my cat does these grand gestures where she leaves heads of rodents on my front door. Uh, it really doesn't do anything for me. How about you take my car for an oil change or like, uh, I don't know, put your fucking clothes in the hamper. That would do something for me. <laughs> How about you do something useful? No? Okay, cool. You, you just work on that poem. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, and God, it's awkward. Like, because we all go through this progression of relationships, or maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I'm sure there's someone out there that's been through this. Where we ladies, like we're going on our first date, and we'll spend three hours getting ready, and then we're sitting there at dinner, and we're looking into his eyes, and we're thinking, wow, he has really good manners. I wonder if he went to Cotillion. Wow, his ears used to be pierced. I bet he's a reformed bad boy. 
I wonder if it's okay to ask if I can introduce him to my parents. Too soon? And the whole time he's just sitting there thinking, I wonder if she does butt stuff. <laughs> You're a liar. If you say no, you are a liar. Uh, so, but then of course it's six months down the road and you're sitting in Applebee's and he's crying and writing you a new poem. And, uh, and the whole time you're just sitting there thinking, I hate the way you chew. It makes me want to punch you in the face. Why won't you stop crying? And he's sitting there thinking, I wonder if I tell her I love her and cry, she'll do butt stuff. <laughs> Flash forward a year and a half and you can't leave because your lease isn't up. And you're just sitting there thinking, I wonder what it's going to take to get him to leave. I wonder if I just cut my hair in a butch haircut and let myself go, he'll just fuck somebody else and go away. I wonder if I start collecting creepy porcelain dolls, he'll just leave. <laughs> Why won't you stop crying? Please stop crying. If you don't stop crying, I swear to God, I'll stick my head in the oven. And the whole time he's thinking, so you're really not gonna let me stick it in your butt, bitch. <laughs> this lady knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't understand why we stay in these relationships that make us so miserable. Like it would be the equivalent of me going to my doctor and he's like, Carrie, you're deathly allergic to pineapple. If you have one more bite, you're gonna die. And I just go, I'm gonna keep eating pineapple every day because I don't wanna forget what a pineapple feels like inside of me. I also know it's going to take forever until I find another fruit I like enough to put in my mouth on the reg, so that's another, uh, yeah, killing it, yeah, I just felt every erection in this room die. Um, and, and another thing is, is that I'm always attracted to guys that I wouldn't even normally like. He just doesn't like me back. Like, it would be like, all of a sudden I went to Whole Foods or, I, I'm, I don't shop at Aldi's. Um, and he's like, uh, like, and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't even want turnips. I had no intention of buying turnips, but they're sold out. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get some turnips and I'm going to make them my boyfriend. Whatever floats your boat, sticks it in your butt. So, uh, yeah. And so then, of course, I'm sitting there and, like, Turnips doesn't want to be with me. Turnips does not want to get in my grocery bag. But I force Turnips to take a bunch of shots and go home with me. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Turnips starts returning my phone calls. And then Turnips is all like, hey, I'm breaking up with my girlfriend to be with you. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, Turnips is like, hey, I think it's time for you to meet, your fam my, meet my family and come to the field where I was raised. And you're like, slow down, Turnip. I'm not ready for all of this. Oh, maybe, and you're stuck with Turnips. Like, maybe I want to experiment with fruit. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to because Turnips is going to cry. And then all of a sudden, flash forward, you're sitting on this couch and you're like, there, there, I promise I'll quit cheating on you eventually, Turnips. <laughs> I'm still working on that one. Um, so, uh... I uh, did actually just get out of a relationship. Um, it was for about a year, and uh, now I'm dating and drinking and taking weirdos home. And, um, and it's weird because like, when you're telling someone that you're inviting over, like, you tell them these ridiculous lies. Like, uh, like at first, like, I have to take out my trash. And when you take out your trash, you have to face all the bad decisions you made that week. Like it's full of Taco Bell wrappers and three empty bottles of wine, a bunch of used condoms. And the whole time, like, he'll come over and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta take out my trash because uh, I don't want him to see what I'm really like because I've told him stuff like, I don't drink. So I've taken out those wine bottles and thrown in, like, smart water, Evian, or whatever sober people drink. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, like, I've taken out, like, I'm a vegan. Oh, you're, you're a vegetarian? I'm vegan. <laughs> so, like, I've taken out all that Taco Bell and thrown in, like, I don't know, I don't know what they eat, like... <laughs> Soy milk, that's good. Yeah, soy milk, gross. So, uh, so yeah, I've thrown in all that soy milk, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, I haven't had sex in like six months, and I broke up with my boyfriend, so I have to like throw out all those used condoms and throw in old batteries. <laughs> that's a hyper intellectual joke. I'm glad you got that. That's like, 
super smart, I think. Um, I'm gonna end on this one um, before I just creep any of you out even further. Um, guys say these things that they think are so sexy. Like, is that, like, ladies, can I ask you that? Like, do they say stuff and you're just like, oh my God, I wish I had four eyes. Like, uh, <laughs> like, like he's like, girl, what you're doing right now is making me so hard. I'm eating a baked potato. <laughs> girl, I can't wait to be inside of you. What are you, a fucking parasite? <laughs> girl, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. I'm cool, I just went. Thank you, my name's Carrie.